Hi, so I've created a fresh Azure Ubuntu VM here, and I'm gonna be able to remote desktop into that instance because I also installed uh, X Windows. So if you're looking for that video on how to install X Windows so you could RDP into your Ubuntu instance, look for that video in my channel. And apparently I put in the wrong password, so let me try that again. So now I'm going to be able to log in here. And when I log in, I'm going to go to my Firefox. And under Firefox, I'm going to download the Chef server. So I'm going to go to the Chef website here. Go on the products, go on the server, and I'm going to download the Ubuntu version. So I'm going to do my own standalone here, Chef server, run my own server. Choose Ubuntu Linux. Choose the first version which is the version that I have Ubuntu 14 I put in code cowboy org code cowboy org at gmail.com and this is gonna install in my directory here. I'm going to save the file to my download directory. And while it's doing that, I am going to go into the install page. And what I'll be doing here is the standalone version. So I'm going to open up a terminal here and get ready for the open up my LX terminal. I'm going to go into my home directory, change to downloads, and you'll see that it's uh, still downloading here. So it's no magic here. I'm going to simply go through step by step the instructions on the Chef website and I'm going to have this link in my description area. Now the file has finished downloading. I'm going to list it here and you'll see it indeed has finished. So what I'm going to do here is copy this command. and I'll have to run as my super user. So I'm gonna go sudo dpig-i and the chef package. And it's gonna extract and this will take about 10 minutes as it's extracting it and installing and doing the configuration. So I'm gonna pause here and wait 10 minutes. Okay, so that took a good 10 minutes, and now I'm going to run the next command here, which is the chef reconfigure. And once again, I'm going to run it under my super user. And as that's running, I'm going to create, it. my next command is to create a user here. So the admin user, I'm just going to name admin. And this also takes about five minutes here. So I'm going to pause. So the next thing I'm going to do now is create a user. So I'm going to create the admin user in the next command, the section five here.
So notice when I'm creating my user, I've specified the username, which is admin, my first name, last name, the email address, and my password. So I'll be using this to log in via the website when I configure my nodes in Chef. Uh, one thing to note is the location you're going to be putting your private key here. So just uh, keep in mind where you actually put it. So I'm going to run this command now, and it's going to create the user. And next I'll be creating an organization and associating that user to the organization. So notice here I've set up a organization here and make sure this is lowercase and it's just code cowboy associating with admin and my organizational private key is going to be in this location in my home directory and so while that's running the next steps I'll be creating the actual website so I'll be downloading the website package to create the user interface via the website so this is basically the management console that I'm creating for Chef which is a web user interface that I'm going to log in through and again this will take another 10 minutes or so so following along here that that took actually 15 minutes to configure this website. Now I'm going to reconfigure the server. And you'll notice I forgot to SU the command. Next I'll configure the management console and I will be doing the chef push jobs next installing that server and while that's occurring I will be skipping the chef replication because I don't have multiple servers at this point and after that I'll be installing the reporting but I do want the chef push jobs so I'm going to select this and when this is done so I'll be installing the chef push jobs here that command in there and run it simply do the reconfigure again and following right along and as I mentioned I'm gonna skip the chef replication and I'm gonna be installing the ops code reporting here and at this point I could have already logged into the web user interface but I'm gonna wait until I uh, install everything here first So at this point I'm almost done. I just have to reconfigure the server and I'll be logging into the web interface soon. I'm 
one final step here to reconfigure the reporting. Okay, so it looks like I'm done installing everything. I'm going to open up a new tab here. And I will be referencing my own machine here, which is called Crossbones. Try that again here. Crossbones. And you'll notice I don't have a official SSL certificate. So I'm just going to confirm and you'll notice now I am on the my very own chef server login and I created my admin before with the password And so there you go, that, that's your very own Chef standalone server. And in the next videos, check out my channel for how to add notes. As you can see, there's reporting policy administration now. Um, and in my other videos, I'll show you how to add nodes and add Chef clients through this interface. Uh, one thing I do wanna note is I am on the server now, but if I go to any other machine on my virtual network here you can see that I, I can also reference the so if I type in HTTP crossbones here you could see I can also reference the website, my very own chef server. And that's really it. Uh, that's, let me try that again here. So that's really it. That That's uh, how you set up your own standalone chef server and I hope it helped and uh, thank you for watching.